HR investigations, human resources investigations, whatever you want to call it, let's talk about doing it right. Let's get into it. This channel seems to be evolving beyond what I had originally planned for it. I am receiving more and more emails from employees searching for information, answers, and generally an understanding of what is happening to them within their companies. I received an email from an individual stating that they were the focus of an HR investigation because they added a tagline to a business account to where if you saved the person's information, you would see this tagline under their name. What's disturbing to me about this story is that the individual, the HR person who was doing the investigation stated that they weren't sure if he violated a policy. So I decided I'm going to do a video to talk about HR investigations and how they should be done. Never approach an employee talking about you're doing an HR investigation and you are unaware of what policy they violated. In other words, get your ducks in a row before you approach any, t any employee talking about some type of investigation. Well, what do you need to do, Nina? You need to first understand the employment policies as they are written in your employee handbook. Also, when updating that employee handbook, you must understand how that update is communicated throughout the entire company. In other words, when your company updates its employee manual, do you send out an email to the employees and ask for a return receipt? Do you have a company meeting and you say, hey, these are the updates on the employee manual? How is that done? That is important because if you approach an employee and they have a copy of that employee handbook, when they first started working, and you have some other policy that's not included in that manual, if I were that employee, I'd say, well, can you please tell me when was this update done and how was it communicated to me? And when I say know what's in your company's handbook, I am not saying know it verbatim, page 24, section two, level B states, blah, blah, blah. You, you're not going to know that much detail, but you should know approximately where you need to go to look for the information you're looking for. Don't wait several weeks or several months to conduct an investigation. And when you're doing that investigation, don't discuss, well, three months ago you did this and six months ago you did this and you did not inform the employee at that time. Understand the laws in the state where your company resides as it relates to this policy that the employee violated. When you're doing an employment investigation, it's best to not say any names, uh, Johnny said that he saw you doing this, so we're investigating it. Tammy heard that through the grapevine, you did blah, blah, blah. That is not the way to properly conduct an investigation. If someone brings something to your attention as an HR person, it is best that you get up and go observe the behavior or action yourself. That way you keep other people out of this situation as it relates to the employee violating the policy and the company. Outline what you are going to say to that employee that's being investigated in statements, unbiased statements. 
Keep your emotions out of the investigation, whether you like the employee or whether you don't like the employee. You need to state facts. On this date and this time, you violated this policy. This policy is on page blah, blah, blah in the employee manual. Here it is right here, and I'm going to present it to that employee so they can read it. This policy was updated on X amount of day, week, month, and you received that email, you were in that meeting, you were somewhere where you were notified that the policy had been updated. After that policy was added or updated, then you did the violation. Don't try to force the narrative of this employee violating a policy by writing the policy after the fact. If you see something that the employee is doing that you don't feel that is in the company's best interest, that's when it's time to write a new policy. Immediately get it out as quickly as possible to employees. Allow the employee to correct the behavior. Then if after three or four days, this has not been changed. Then you approach the employee. Now you have a policy. Now you can say you're violating the policy, but don't try to write a policy after the fact, after you tell the person they're being investigated and then try to backdate a policy because that not only makes you look incompetent as an HR person, it sheds a negative light on your company as picking on employees or singling out employees doing things that you may not personally agree with. When you are questioning an employee as it relates to an HR investigation, do not rely on your memory since memories are not 100% accurate. And always keep in mind that as an employee, he or she may be recording that meeting for his or her own records. It is important for all HR professionals to fully understand how an HR investigation can affect an employee, their motivation to work, and how they feel about your company. Thanks for watching. If you want to know more about business operations, business management, human resources, and other topics related to running a business, click on one of those play links. Click on one of these play Click on the playlist. One eternity later. Click on one of these playlists. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe.